Hi students, welcome all. Now let's learn about asexual reproduction in plants. In our previous video, a plant a new young plant produce pollination and fertilization abdinga process of follow up in the that method is called as a sexual reproduction of plants abdin soli patho. And or plant a new young plant produce pollination and fertilization are some other ways of follow up in the chabdina. That method is called as asexual reproduction in plants. Now we are going to learn about this asexual reproduction. The following are the methods of the asexual reproduction they are first one is vegetative propagation, second one is budding, third one is fragmentation and fourth one is pore formation. Now let's learn about these each of these. First now let's say about vegetative propagation. In potato, sugarcane and yam the process of vegetative propagation will take place. Vegetative propagation abdina root stem and leaf these three are a vegetative part of a plant in the vegetative part learned or a new young plant when the form of that process is called as a vegetative propagation if a root for example nama potato eduthukala in the or fresh young potato va nama soil la bury panni vechitom abadina after few days potato la dot dot da irukum that is called as a ice and the ice lende shoot vandu varum so potato abdingra or root la rendu or shoot form aagaradnala this process is called as a vegetative propagation ipo stem ku or example la nama rose plant eduthukalam so or rose plant la stem la nama vandu or cut pandrom or 2 3 knots irukra mari paathu cut pannittu adha nama vandu soil la vachom abdina after few days and the knot la rendu so by this way a new young plant can be formed so in the mari root stem leaf lerndu varakudiya new young plant da namu vandu and the process ku peru da vegetative propagation appdin solrom next second method is budding it takes place in a yeast cell yeast cell la nucleus vacuoles ellame irukku so or matured ana parent yeast cell vandu asymmetric division undergo agudhu kanna pinnan divide agudhu as a result and the yeast cell la irundhu or small bulb like projection vandu form agudhu adu vandu grow aagi it gets getting detached from this parent cell detach aagi adu or new bud form aagudhu and that bud also has a nucleus vacuole so ipdi da or yeast cell vandu budding process mooliyama or new bud vandu form pannudhu next now let's see about fragmentation so fragmentation ku example vandu spirogyra oxus of filamentous algae indha mari da irukku or matured ana filamentous algae vandu each fragment me vandu divide aagum divide aagi over fragment me vandu or new fragment ah matured aagirudhu so this process is called as a fragmentation next is spore formation for example in a non flowering plants like algae fungi moss and ferns during a unfavorable condition unfavorable condition abdina so water scarcity thanni illama irukum bodho high temperature la irukum bodho and nutrition deficiency in soil soil la podumana alavu nutrition illama irukum bodho these non flowering plants will develop a spore and when the favorable condition returns thanni kedaikum bodho temperature normal a irukum bodho soil la nutrition irukum bodho and the my favorable condition return aagum bodho this spore will germinate into a new plant and this process is called as a spore formation okay students i hope you understand these concepts well last video la sexual reproduction of plants paathirundhom in the video la asexual reproduction of plants paathom in next video we can see a modification of roots and plant thank you for watching